hot and dry. That pretty much sums up what farmers experienced across the Midwest during the latter half of July and all of August. We could be losing more test weight um, as, as we uh, continue with this hot weather, dry weather. Uh, a rain could still help fill, fill out this test weight a little bit, I think. Nathan Wentworth has seen a year of extremes. What started off so wet has now turned into one of the driest summers on record. I had pretty tremendous potential right after pollination, just like on this year. It's filled out the blistering almost all the way to the end, and since then haven't received much rain, and so we've got ears that look like this now, where we've reduced our kernel length by 8 to 10 kernels per ear. He says that equates to a 20 to 40 bushel per acre yield loss. And while the tip back isn't in every acre of every field, it will definitely pull his overall yield numbers down. Average yields in this area are around 180 bushels per acre. Um, it's not uncommon to see well above 200 bushels per acre in some parts. This year, he's thinking the range will be wide, anywhere from 150 bushels per acre to 200. The scorching temps are quickly drying his crop down. He says some fields may be harvested in two weeks. Most, however, won't be dry enough until late September. We've got a few fields. Uh, ears are hanging down. Um, we'd like to be able to get in maybe in the next couple weeks to at least get that um, before we start seeing some ear drop. But this late in the season, it's soybeans taking center stage. Many farmers say we're one good rain away from a decent crop, but the clock is ticking. With the kind of uh, difficulty that we saw getting soybeans planted, then the uh, dry conditions uh, midsummer that uh, really uh, took out some of the uh, top levels of soil moisture, and now this heat that uh, has come on, it's going to be very difficult for the soybean crop. Um, pod numbers, I, I really don't know. I don't think we're seeing anything really bad as far as pod numbers, but it's just going to be a matter if we get a rain now to fill the pods out. With little rain, crops are showing signs of stress, and even the grass is drying up. And just a year later, it's too much of a reminder to the 2012 drought many farmers would like to forget. While heat set in, frost concerns are becoming less pertinent for some areas. However, DTN meteorologist Bryce Anderson says we can't rule it out just yet. I think with the kind of heat that has uh, shown up, in the last couple weeks that some of the frost uh, imperative has kind of been dialed back a little bit. But there still is uh, plenty of concern and at this point our thought is that we're going to see the uh, first frost show up at about a normal date. Anderson says because of a normal frost forecast we could still see frost damage this season.